Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in my bathroom today, which is not my usual spot to be in. But I'm doing my makeup for work, and it's just like a simple everyday makeup, so I thought I would show you guys in case you cared. And I figured we could do a little story time and just kind of chit chat while we're at it. So let's just get started. So always my first step is to take my Tarte Shape Tape. This is the shade Light, and I like to take this before I do anything else. I don't use primer, so if you use primer, you'd probably do primer first. But then I take my concealer and I put it right on top of all my pimples. And this is just like an extra way to conceal them. And as you can tell, I have a lot of them today. So then I just pat that in with my finger Story time! I, long story short, got stung by a scorpion yesterday. Well, 99% sure I got stung by a scorpion yesterday. So what happened was I was making our bed, and the way that our bed is set up in our room, it's like pushed up against the wall, like our heads are against the wall, and we don't have like a headboard. So it's literally the mattress like touches the wall. And I was getting ready to leave for work, and I wanted to make the bed before I left. So I was tucking the sheets back in, like, behind where the wall is. And there was this sharp, really intense, like, stinging pain in my finger. And it was this knuckle right here. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like um, after it happened, because it looks back to normal now. But I was like, ow, what the hell was that? Like, I literally yelled out loud, like, what was that? But I didn't see anything on my finger. Like, I was like, okay. So then I looked back there, and I was like, oh, maybe there was, like, something sharp poking out or something, and maybe I, like, hit my finger on it. But I didn't see anything. So I was just like, okay, that was weird. Maybe my finger had, like, a spasm or something. I just kind of ignored it and left it alone. And I didn't think again about it. Then, I didn't put the two and two together at the time. But my asthma started getting super bad, I'd say 20 to 30 minutes after that, because um, I do have asthma. But it was like acting up, and I was like, oh my god, like it's so hard to breathe right now. But I thought maybe I just had like anxiety for some reason, because I get anxiety sometimes, so I just kind of let it go and I ignored it. And I went to get gas, and then I went to work, and at work I still like could not breathe, I was like struggling. And then I was like getting dizzy too, like it was hard to breathe, so I wasn't like getting oxygen. And then I was like getting dizzy, and I just like wanted to just lay down and sleep for like... 75 hours and I was like what the heck is going on and then it started to get a little bit better after like two hours and then I was just on my computer doing my thing at work and I looked at my finger and I was like what the hell because it had grown to like this big swollen red bump and when I touched it it was like super sensitive and like sore almost I'm wetting my beauty blender. So once I noticed my finger was like that, I was like, okay, something had to have bit me or stung me or something. And I was assuming a sting because if it was a bite, I feel like there would have been like a little bump that was itchy or something. But this was just a big swollen like knot on my finger and it wasn't itchy. It was just super sensitive to the touch. So I started walking around asking people at work like, what do you guys think this is? And I told them the story of what happened and they were all like, yeah, that was probably a scorpion. And then I was like, Oh my god, that makes sense, why I had like an allergic reaction, why I couldn't breathe, why I was getting dizzy, and why after a while it kind of started to dissipate. So I feel like there was a little scorpion, and it stung me like quickly, so it didn't put like a lot of venom in me or whatever the heck they have in them. Poison, I don't know, I don't know how any of that works. But I was like, okay, that makes a lot of sense because we've seen a scorpion in these apartments before when we lived on the second floor. And I know they're super common in the area of Vegas out that we live in. I'm using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Concealer in shade 122 Creamy Beige. And I'm mixing that with my Arbonne. I can't even read this because it's all rubbed off. But my Arbonne Concealer in the shade Fair. I just mix these two. So when my coworkers said scorpion and it just kind of all made sense and I was like okay well now I'm freaked out because I didn't kill a bug in there because I didn't know what it was so that means the scorpion's still in my apartment. 
So while I was at work, I had one of my coworkers go to Lowe's because it's the building over and I couldn't leave because I was the only person in the office that day. I had my coworker go and buy a bunch of scorpion stuff for me. So she bought me a black light and some scorpion spray that's like some bug spray like specifically meant for scorpions. I guess it kills them right away. She also grabbed some scorpion tape, I guess, which like if they step on it, they're supposed to get stuck to it. I gave her my card and she got all of those things for me. And then the plan was when I got home, Zachary and I would hunt the whole apartment until we found it and then we would kill it and then I would have peace of mind. Well, as you guys can probably guess, we didn't find it. We tore apart the entire bedroom, we lifted the mattress, we lifted the box spring, we cleaned all the sheets and all the pillows, we moved all of the furniture away from the wall so we could look back there with the black light. Like we literally looked everywhere and we didn't find it in the bedroom. So then we looked in the bathroom, I looked in the kitchen, dining room, and living room. So that's our entire apartment. That's all 800 square feet we checked and did not see anything. So I don't know if it got out maybe the same way that it got in or if it was just hiding in a spot that we didn't see it because we didn't check like in the closet really. We checked like areas of the closet but it's so crowded and full in there that we didn't like be thorough with the closet. So I think it's either somewhere in our bedroom or closet still hiding or it escaped. But because of that, I was so freaked out that I did not want to sleep in our bedroom last night. So Zachary and I had a little slumber party in the living room. We slept on the couch last night. He is such a sweetheart. I told him, I was like, no, you can still sleep in the bed. Like, he wasn't worried about it. So I was like, babe, just sleep in the bed. Like, I don't want you to be uncomfortable on the couch just because I'm being a wimp and I don't want to go in there. And he was like, no, it's okay. Like, I'll sleep on the couch with you. So we had a little slumber party on the couch and yeah still don't know where the scorpion is i kind of want to check again tonight and see if maybe it moved because i really am too freaked out to lay in that bed until i know that it's for sure gone so i feel like if i don't find it in the next couple of days i might call like a professional to come look just so i have peace of mind because like literally where i got stung was at my bed like i was touching my mattress and I got stung. So I don't want to lay in that bed and risk it getting into the bed. Ugh, that's, ugh, it freaks me out. In other news, I'm sure maybe you guys have heard about it or seen it, but Jaclyn Hill, I'm not a fan of her, but I did watch this video of hers. She shaves her face and I had never heard of people doing that before, yet alone like being open about doing it. And, but anyways, I watched the video and I saw how she did it and I was like, oh my god, that's genius because I have so much hair on my face. It's not like dark hair or anything, but so much peach fuzz that I get on my face that it literally looks like I'm like furry. And I hated that because every time I would put makeup on, it would look just cakey and gross because all the makeup would stick to the hair instead of my skin. So long story short, I bought the stuff that she uses to shave her face and I've been shaving my face now and I absolutely love it. So if you guys want to see a video on that, I can film it for you um, or I can just link Jaclyn Hill's video. I'll just link that below because hers is probably way more professional and has more tips in it. But yeah, I started shaving my face and I'm so obsessed. I highly recommend if you have hair on your face. To just do it i just put more tart concealer on the places i want to conceal what what are you sniffing this is an apple you can't have this you can't have this uh -uh. i love you <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> All right, you're down, bub. All right, so now that my concealer is done, I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm only putting this where I put my concealer. My skin gets really dry, so I don't like to put this all over my face. I only put it where the concealer was. Oh, speaking of scorpions and bugs, the last week or so, I'd say maybe two weeks, it's been getting pretty warm here in Vegas and so we have been getting gnats and I'm 
so done with them, so annoyed, and I looked up, like, ways to get rid of them, and one of the ways was to put out, like, some wine, and they were supposed to be attracted to it, and then they would try to get in it, and they would drown in it. So I was like, oh, okay, so I set out some wine to try to kill them, and literally none of them even went near it, and I left it out for, like, a good 12 hours. So... I don't know how to get rid of these freaking gnats. They're so annoying. They annoy Zachary and I. They annoy Spike. And I just want to get rid of them. I think it might be because I have plants. Because I didn't used to have plants. And now I do. So I don't know if they're attracted to the plant. And that's what's bringing them into my apartment. If that's the case, I need y'all's help. How do I get rid of these stupid gnats? Okay, the next step of my makeup, I'm going to be taking this pretty vulgar bronze B120 Sunkiss Snitch bronzer. I got this in a boxy charm, so I don't know where you get this, but I really, really like it. And I'm going to take this brush. This is just a Morphe brush, but I don't know what kind it is, and it just looks like this, and I use this for my bronzer. And I'm only going to tap this once because this stuff is a little dark for me. You guys like my hair? I used to braid my hair all the time and I just kind of stopped doing it for a while. I don't know why. Maybe because it was like winter, I guess. I don't know. I feel like it's more of a summer look. So I stopped doing it for a while and I was like, you know what? I'm going to braid my hair today. And I love it. And I think I got to start doing it more often again since it is summertime. Oh yeah, and I, I did make an appointment to get blonde added back into my hair. I'm so excited. I'm not going to go like blonde blonde like it went last time i'm just gonna do kind of like a highlights type thing but like throughout all of my hair i'm so excited it's gonna be so cute and bright and summery and the tana mojo way to contour your nose just pinch the brush perfect and then i take my blush I'm using this Morphe brush. I think this is a blush brush. I don't really know. But I take that with this little palette. It's the Wander Beauty Wondrous Dust to Dawn brush and or Blush and Highlight Palette. I got this from a BoxyCharm as well. And for my blush, I just use this lightest shade right here because I'm not a huge fan of blush, but I like that it brings a little bit of color. And it also is a little bit shimmery, so it's nice and glowy. So that's all I do for blush and bronzer and then I like to take this huge fluffy brush and really just like blend everything in because I feel like it's a little harsh and my face is looking a little darker than my body today so I'm gonna add a little bit of that bronzer to my neck as well so like I said this is more of an everyday routine that I'm showing you guys so once my blush and bronzer are done I'm pretty much almost done the next thing I like to do is just take a little spoolie, is that what this is called? And I brush my eyebrows out with this. Just like that. I don't put any product in my eyebrows because the hairs themselves are very thick and very wiry. And I think they look good as they are. They do need to be threaded, but like... I'm not going to add any product to them. So there's my eyebrows. And then for highlight, I'm actually using this Tarte palette. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 eyeshadow palette. And I take this little Morphe brush. And I use this shimmery silver shade right here called Treasure. So I just take that. And I put that right on the cheekbones. See, before I shaved my face, I could never wear highlight because it would just stick to the hair and look so weird and ugly. Um, but now that I shaved my face, I love wearing highlight. I need to buy an actual highlighter because I don't own any besides the one in that palette and I don't like that one. So I hit the cheekbones, hit right here a little bit, and then the nose. 
I'm very sloppy with my makeup, as you guys can tell. I don't do it precise. Okay, highlight is done. And then the last step, you guys, is just my mascara. Super easy everyday makeup, and I don't even do this every day. I normally don't wear makeup. I probably do this once or twice a week. Just have my eyelash curler, and I'm using the Arbonne It's a Long Story Mascara. I got this um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in a Boxy Charm, and I'm sorry, but I don't know what the hype is around this mascara. I think it sucks. It takes so long to dry down, so I get it all over my face, and the wand just sucks. Like, I don't know what the hype is over this stuff. This stuff is not good. Definitely not better than sex. I hate it. So, um, I'm just using my little samples I have left of the Arbonne. Um, it's a long story mascara. Curling my lashes, and then I just put the mascara on. I put it on my top and my bottom lashes. So that's one eye done. And that's the finished look, you guys. Super easy look. It's kind of like a natural, no makeup, makeup look. Um, didn't even do eyeshadow. I freaking hate doing eyeshadow. So yeah, that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the little story time as well. If you guys did, make sure you leave this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!